now into mid-March and although you won't believe it looking behind me with the weather as it's been today, um, spring is now on its way. I just want to run through five little tips that will hopefully help you put more fish in the net as the weather improves and the water warms up. So the first one, and I think it's the most important, is where to fish in your peg. Through winter, we tend to fish a bit further out, so 14, 16 metres, and you will catch short on certain days, but generally you've got to outfish everyone. As the weather warms up, and particularly the water, fish are willing to feed more and will definitely come in more. So my longest line that I'm going to fish is 13 metres. It's just a starting point and you can build it up from there, but my main line of attack is going to be short. Top kit in two, top kit in three, primarily that's where I want to be catching. You're going to catch bigger fish and hopefully quicker, especially as the day goes on. The last two hours of your match could be really good there. The next tip would be elastic choice. All winter I've been using hybrid elastic. I'm a massive fan of it. it the yellow, the pink in particular. These are very soft elastics. And when you're trying to build a weight up, as we hopefully will be when we come into spring, they're a little bit too soft. Everything takes too long to get the fish in. This is where I switch to hydroelastic. The same colours, yellow, pink, even blue, I will be using, but they're that little bit more powerful. So you can still ship back, dead smooth, no problems. But when you're actually playing the fish, they come in so much faster. On shallow venues, yellow and maybe even pink hydro is absolutely brilliant. And then on the deeper venues like Meadowlands, we'll be using Blue Hydro. The reason for this is, especially with the depth and the elastic, you can get them in so much faster. You know, with it being at 13, 14 foot on some of the pegs, you can hook your fish, ship back as steady as you like, unship and basically just pull in it. You're not gonna have any traumas with them coming off and everything is sped up that little bit. Tip number three is all about durability. So stepping up from the lighter rigs that I use through winter, when spring comes, I'll be using diameter 16 mainline, diameter 12 up length, and a size 14 F1 pellet. As I mentioned, these are more durable and will definitely increase your catch rate. The next one is bait choice. Now, I'm sure you're aware I love fishing casters, but unfortunately, even for me, I know a lot of venues, it's not quite good enough to fish them when spring comes. You're going to catch a fish a chuck, there's no denying it, but they're going to be the wrong stamp. You're going to catch roach, maybe some skimmers. This is where, when the light's starting to change, as it does coming up to spring, pellets is key. Unfortunately, I can't believe I've said that, but pellets is definitely key. It picks out the bigger fish, so six ounce skimmers is going to be a small fish on it, and you're going to hopefully catch some two, three pound bream, venue depending. Going on from that, expanders, four millet is my go-to, but if small fish are a problem, when I say small fish, four, six ounce skimmers, six mil pellets and even corn can definitely pick out those better fish. By fishing these, you're going to put more fish in the net, again, improve your catch rate and hopefully win you some more matches. So the fifth and final tip is ground bait. Now, some venues, pellets just don't work quite as well as natural baits, no matter what time of year. Ground bait choice on these venues is definitely key. So all winter, I use a sweet fish meal mix. When spring comes, you need a stronger fish meal mix. This is to attract the right stamp fish in your peg. If I was to use a sweet fish meal, you'd catch the wrong stamp. By using a stronger fish meal ground bait, you can still fish with natural baits and pick out those better fish you're gonna need to win you those matches. Well, hopefully those five little tips will definitely put more fish in your net when spring comes. They may only seem like little things, but when they're all put together, I've mentioned when the water warms up, the weather improves, they'll definitely put more fish in your net. 